Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I have restarted this video five times now because I just can't start the video. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm having one of those days. Um, today's video is going to be a mini grocery haul. It's Friday and I just got done with work and so I went and got groceries at Target really quick. We just needed a few things for the house, but I have reorganized our little pantry area. We have a very small pantry in my house and the coffee bar area. We moved in nine months ago and the coffee liquor bar area has been driving me nuts ever since. No matter what I've done to it, I haven't loved it. And I really just want a minimalistic, like not too much stuff on the counter look for everything clean because there's not like a lot of space so I'm just trying to make things organized and simple and so I want to show you guys what I bought off Amazon a few things I've gotten at the dollar store and yeah just I guess easy ways of organizing smaller spaces my kitchen is big but my pantry area is not big so I'll show you guys all the fun stuff so first I'll show you guys what I picked up at Target today. We are going um, to the Adirondacks like Placid next weekend. So I just got some s'mores stuff, obviously an essential of camping. Um, this was given to me by one of my cousins from her garden. So that I did not purchase, but it was given to us. We needed some more fruit snacks. Normally I don't get the name brand ones, but um, the past couple times we have actually, and these are really good. So we got more of those. To switch things up, we got some Rice Krispie treats for the kids. School is coming and I just want easy stuff to be able to throw into their lunches. So although it's not the healthiest thing that I could put in there, the kids like it and once in a while I feel like it's okay. We also got our favorite chips, which are the crunchy Cape Cod. This is just the original sea salt version. We needed some more peanut butter for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So we usually always buy the natural one. This time I got the big Jif one. And what else? These we have been loving. They're the fruit strips. And honestly, we've been kind of transitioning over to more of these instead of fruit snacks. I don't know why I bought both. I did a pickup order and I think honestly I forgot to take those out of my cart when I put these in. But you get 48 of these, which is a lot. And there's different flavors and we've tried different versions of these but um, i'm really excited to uh, have the kids try these and see how they like it i needed some more chocolate chips so we got some of those i got mini marshmallows and i will show you guys why i bought these when we head over to the drink bar over there i have a plan for these and we also needed a refill of some cheez -Its. so there's the food I have a very special package in here, which I'm so excited about. It's basically the whole reason that I waited to film this video and I can't wait to unbox it with you. So that'll be in a second. Um, these are the labels that I bought off Amazon. I'm going to show you guys the whole pack in the pantry and everything, but I am so in love with these labels. So these jars I found at my local dollar store and they have this size which are like smaller ones and then they have bigger ones and i bought three big ones and three little ones yesterday and i'm totally obsessed with them i had a whole nother vision so i went back today and got two more but i'll show you guys um what i'm using these for i'm gonna show you guys our pantry this is literally the only place in our whole kitchen where we keep food is right here this is like the snack cupboard where we keep our baking we do keep our vitamins and like medications up here and then our spices and like, I'll show you guys. There's some meds up at the top there and then our Lazy Susan, I've got a lot of our just oils and salts and sprays and stuff. And then these are all of my little um, spices and things like that. But other than this area right here, all of the food is here so i try to be really organized because i know that it can get crazy chaos in small spaces but this is it for a pantry in my house so it's not done completely but this is how it's going um i since my old house if you've been following i've had these like container things forever but i recently got these labels and i just think it looks so much cleaner I love it 
And I also got these jars up here from Target and I actually went back like the next day and regretted not getting three of them, but they're so cute. They're little glass jars and the top of it has like a little cutout hole for the spoon that comes with it. Oh my God. I was completely obsessed and I knew that I should have gotten three of them, but oh well, at least I picked up two of them so we keep our nuts in here. <laughs> so these go at the top. We have some trail mix in here and then um, this guy actually goes in the middle between them and I'll show you guys. I'm gonna do a little refill here with some of the snacks we got and then I'll put him back. I don't have labels for these two. They don't have a cheese it or goldfish label, but they did have blank ones, so I might try to um, handwrite them on and put stickers on. And then this area is really what I've been working on. So we've got our baskets up here. Um, they'll only fit two rows up here. I would put another basket, but it's fine. I think I'm gonna switch. This is where our fruit snacks are. This is how many we have left. I think I'm gonna put the Rice Krispie treats in here though. And then this is where we keep like a lot of our bars, protein bars, breakfast bars. There's um, Pop-Tarts and oatmeal in the back. And then we have a whole um, drink basket, if that's what you call it. And we love Crystal Light in our family. So I've got a ton of different flavors of Crystal Light. Um, there's some Plexus drinks that was like a diet drink I was on. And then these Gatorade refill things. Uh, we've got some of those left and stuff. So this is the drink area. And then coming down below here, these again are from the dollar store and I feel like they're such a good find because a lot of these storage containers are so expensive. Like the ones that I showed you guys up here from Target, they're $10 each and I've like collected them over the years, but that's a lot of money. Uh, you know, to shell out on just a container. So these were a steal. Um, here are the smaller ones. And then like I said, there's these bigger ones back here. I filled all my bigger ones with different kinds of pasta and an entire box will fit in one, which is so important because I hate when you like fill a storage container and then you still have like a little bit of something left, like it didn't all fit. So I will tell you that the pasta one whole box did fit in one big thing of these. Um, but we've got our three different kinds of pastas back here. This I'm actually gonna move to our drink area. Uh, but I've got couscous here. And breadcrumbs for when we make chicken cutlets. And then I'm actually going to fill one of my new ones with granola. So that's gonna be the other one that goes here. Down below, this is kind of where the overflow happens. So we've got extra pasta, extra pretzels, extra cereal, just extra everything. And then in these baskets, I have, um, there's all kinds of like nuts and stuff in here, just random like salad stuff. And then this is our popcorn bin. It does say popcorn. And some baking stuff, so chocolate chips, sugar, and then there's brown sugar under there. Behind all these containers up here, I do have another Lazy Susan that I can spin. So there's our peanut butter and baking stuff back there as well. Pretty easy to get to. So I'll put these back. Whew, I feel like I am out of breath after showing you guys all that. Um, let's do a little refill with the things that I have and then I'm gonna show you guys our drink area and what we're doing over there. Okay. Um, actually I want to show you guys, we'll do our unboxing for this first because I want to fill these with the rest of my stuff. So, let me grab my scissors. I found these on a TikTok, of course. Um, there was somebody making their morning coffee, and this was at their coffee bar, I guess, and I just literally fell in love with them. Okay. Uh, aren't 
they so cute? Oh my god. They're adorable. They're little glass containers and then the top are like little round cork balls. And my vision is that we the drink area isn't just a coffee bar or a liquor bar. It's like hot cocoa, tea, everything. So I'm putting mini marshmallows in one, um, chocolate chips in the other, and then maybe sprinkles in the other one. So that way, as we're transitioning into the cold season, if the kids wanna make hot cocoa or you wanna add chocolate chips, whatever, into your coffee, um, you can have all of those things. Mm -hmm. going all to different places, different planets. But your aura passed me by, losing balance What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like the drive and get down and dirty like, like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep
The top won't fit on it with these sticking out, so I'm just going to leave the top off for now, but that is where they go. So there is this cupboard, and the rest of these are going to go in our drink area. Okay, so this is the area that I have been working on. Um, I got these yesterday, and I knew that I should have waited to film it with you guys because it was so satisfying to pour these and put the labels on, but these are the coffee syrups, and we have a pumpkin spice one. I showed these in my last birthday video. It was like a pumpkin caramel latte, and then there was a cinnamon roll, which I just labeled as salted caramel for now because they didn't have a cinnamon roll label. How dare they? But these are my new containers that I got off Amazon. They are so cute. I was hoping, if we move my plant here, I was hoping that those other jars were gonna fit up top here. But now that I'm seeing them, I don't know if they're gonna be too big. And then I have some cinnamon and I was gonna get some pumpkin spice and maybe some, some I don't know, something else to put down here. Just some spices to add on top of things. Um, Anyways, we'll see how this turns out. So let me go grab our stuff. I got it we didn't end up fitting the third like round bald container on top because they're way bigger than I thought but we'll use it for something else two of them fit so I did the milk chocolate and marshmallows I'll show you guys I'm gonna have to cut this plant I already know because it's bothering me so just ignore it for this video but a um, milk chocolate and marshmallow fit up there Maybe I'll take them away and just put them on the counter. I don't know, but for now, that's it. And then I put ground cinnamon and pumpkin spice down below. We've got our syrups that I already showed you guys, and then I ended up leaving hot chocolate and coffee down below. I think it still looks very minimalist and cute. Um, I just rearranged this area over here. This is kind of the liquor bar area. We have some stirs, my corks in the big wine glass, our shaker, a glass or a bottle of wine that my sister gave me for my birthday, and then one of these, which is currently empty, and of course my little pink bougie flask, oh yes, and um, our shot glasses. And we keep storage of everything kind of underneath here, the dog area, of course, but let me know what you guys think. Do you love it? Would you change anything? I can link the labels down below for you guys if you're interested. All right, you guys, that is it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed restocking, refilling, and organizing a little bit of my kitchen and coffee area with me. I love you guys. My next video is probably going to be a vlog or some kind of nursing video, but I just wanted to show you guys all the fun new kitchen stuff that I got because that is what 32 is all about. You get excited over organizing your kitchen. So, love you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Give this video a big thing, thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Love you guys. Stop.
jumping out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it